What's good everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Marcus and today I'm reviewing the Valve AI programming for powerlifting. Now those viewers that have watched the channel for some time know that I've discussed the Valve AI in the past, but I thought it was appropriate to take another in-depth look at the programming since I just hit my one year anniversary and talk about how it's worked for me in that time frame. So when I switched to Evolve AI last December of 2022, I had the goal for me to compete at my first competition in March of 2023. The programming served me very well with that competition as I hit PRs on the platform, improved my strength overall, and just kept letting my numbers creep up and up and up. I continued with that from that competition and went into a bridge block, which is a recommendation by the programming to go from a competition to a bridge block prior to beginning another strength programming. And I did that, but I'm not necessarily a fan of bridge blocks. There's a lot of hypertrophy work, a lot of high volume. And to me, it doesn't exactly say transition from peaking on the competition platform to gradually improving again. Now this time around, after my last competition in November, I skipped the bridge block and went right into strength training, which began with the hypertrophy block. Now I wanna talk about my favorite aspects of the programming. The first of that is the variety. Variety in programming itself, variety in exercises. The programming, you have two options. You can choose from power building or power lifting. In the past, I have tried power building because I was interested in a mix or hybrid of sorts of hypertrophy and strength and I tried it and it was great except that these days I am leaning more towards strict power lifting because I just feel like the length of training the volume the intensity and so on works better for me at my current age of 55. The hypertrophy versions with all the high rep sets and light weights and so on just isn't really my cup of tea anymore. Nowadays I'm leaning more towards power lifting and that is one of the things I really love about this programming despite whatever your goals are, whatever you're feeling like in a particular training block, you can switch. You can switch at the beginning, you can switch midway. The programming is nice because it does keep historic references to all your lifts, PRs, sets, rep maxes, and so on, which is nice to be able to tap into. It does guide you in a progressive manner from start to end, where you are constantly progressing and increasing both strength and even muscularity. The other aspect of variety that I really appreciate is the variety in exercises. There is quite a long list of exercises that it chooses for you or allows you to choose for yourself. And like many people, I like to vary it from block to block. So a block might be four or five weeks. In the next block, you're going to do the same targeted areas, but you have an option to choose which exercises you're going to select for back focus, quad focus, hamstring focus, upper body work, lower body work, whatever. You can select a variety of different exercises. You can switch while you're in the middle of a block if you want. You can switch for the week. You can switch for the rest of the block. You can switch on that day alone. And I like the variety because sometimes you might have lower back fatigue and sometimes just hitting an exercise from a different range of motion is appreciative. But each time you start a new block, it gives you an option to reselect exercises based on your interests. But it's always going to target the same thing. And it's nice to keep things fresh and interesting. So that is, again, the second favorite thing for me. The other important factor is the guidance. It guides you through. It gives you your sets. It gives you your reps. It even typically targets you, for the main lifts anyway, with a targeted number of weight. And that is important because if you're not keeping a strict log, you're not going to know how or when to improve and increase the weights, the sets, or the repetitions. And the programming guides you through effortlessly. You come in, you open it up, you go through readiness, you start your lift and your session that day, and it already has your targeted numbers for you, which is fantastic. But even better than that is the AI working in real time based on your inputs through your readiness, through your warm-ups, to be able to adjust those numbers for you on the fly. So for example, you might come down one day feeling super strong, fresh, recovered over the weekend. Monday you come back, you feel invincible, you're gonna have higher numbers. If you go through the readiness and the warm-up and everything feels great, those numbers are gonna probably be slightly higher than originally targeted. If you then input the opposite and say, I didn't get enough sleep, I only slept four hours, I have back pain, the programming is gonna adjust for you on the fly. And the first numbers that it's gonna spit out for your main lifts are gonna be less than it would have given you otherwise. And that is greatly appreciated because it is like having a coach that's telling you, this is what we're gonna to do today. Yes, we did something different yesterday or last week, but today let's vary things, let's adjust and be a little bit realistic, more modest, more conservative, if you will. And then tomorrow, if you're feeling better, we'll ramp things up again. There's always next week, there's always the next day, and the programming is adjusting for you on the fly 
just like a coach would. The other thing I really love about this programming is how it targets specific weaknesses. So the first time you use the program and set it up, and when you finish a training cycle and begin a new cycle, for example, after a meet or competition, it will ask you various questions, interview style, and it's gonna ask you for your weaknesses. As long as you're honest and transparent with the programming, you're gonna get exactly what you need from it. I'll give you an example, in bench press, in my last two meets, I failed to hit my third bench press. And that is due to the fact that I couldn't lock out that heavier weight. So for me, when I'm going through the interview of starting the programming, I do say lockout is my problem area. Now, with the beginning of this new cycle, it's targeting that weakness and making me do high pin presses, making me do tape presses, making me do two board presses and things like that to target that weakness and improve my bench overall. And I gotta say, without question, is doing just that because my bench has been improving in just this last month from my competition. So kudos to the programming. It knows what it's doing. And the people who created this program have done a phenomenal job with that. Another example is with deadlifts. I typically used to struggle off the floor, but that has improved in the last cycles of training through this programming. Now my last struggle prior to this last competition was midway through. Now it's adjusted to target the weakness of mid range. And now I'm doing just below the knee pause deadlifts. So it adjusts for you depending on your weaknesses as you overcome some of those weaknesses and maybe encounter new weaknesses it will adjust for you on the fly just like a great coach would they'll see your weaknesses and they'll target that for you the program is very comprehensive in targeting the overall body from a power lifting or power building standpoint depending on which one you choose they even have a nutritional aspect to the programming which i've talked about in the past so if you do have an actual competition in mind and you plug that date in it will guide you all the way through with strength blocks and a peak block deloads at the end of each block rep max attempts prior to the deload and it just guides you along the way to perfection in my opinion and i really am happy with evolve ai because of the comprehensive programming that it offers very detailed very exact and it has proven its effectiveness just in me with all of my results and my strength gains in the last couple of years now, speaking of strength gains, I hit PRs in all three lifts of my first meet back in March of 2023. And in the eight months since that point between that first meet and my next meet, which was this past Veterans Day in November of 2023, I again hit PRs in all three lifts. And that is phenomenal because I really didn't think I'd have that level of progression left in me in my mid 50s. I had a PR and squat of 391. I hit a PR and bench press despite missing my last bench press. The PR is at 276, which is not my all-time PR. I know now that going into my next competition, I'm pretty guaranteed that I'm going to have a new PR, all-time PR, and a new competition PR, and I'm expecting that to be over 300 pounds. And deadlift, again, I hit a new PR of 419 pounds, and that moved very well, so I think I could have hit 425 or more, but I'm really expecting some really great increases in numbers for my next competition in May of 2024, and I thank all of that to this programming being as effective as it is. The programming is very complex comprehensive and also very flexible which is ideal it even lets you choose your preference of intensity so you can choose low intensity mid intensity or high intensity it gives you that flexibility and freedom to do it the way you want and if midway through your programming you decide you know what i want more reps i want less reps you can go in and select that preference and it will adjust for you and it keeps you on track throughout the entire time guiding you to a peak of sorts whether that's a competition or just for your own sake. It is really well done and thoughtful in its layout, its ease of use. You have it in your pocket, whether it's your phone or an iPad like this, plug away, entering your lifts, your reps, any other information that you think it's useful. It has a note section that lets you choose your own exercises from a list. You can even add exercises if there's something that you'd like to do that's not on the list, which is also phenomenal. Now, speaking of the readiness check that you have at the start of each training session, I think it's phenomenal because it asks you questions, but it does so after you warm up. So that way you can be in touch with your body and decide, okay, this is how I truly feel after warming up, which is obviously going to be different than it felt prior to the warm up. Because again, for Monday, maybe you didn't do any exercises on Saturday or Sunday and you feel good, but you're a little stiff because you haven't moved as much. So if you went to the readiness at that point, you might answer questions a little bit differently than you would after a warm up. And you've got yourself loose, you're a little bit more mobile, and now you're a little bit more in touch with your body after being on the ground and going through a few different warm ups. So that I think is perfect also because it takes into account all the basic factors that come into play when it comes to training. The recommended warm ups themselves are even ideal for that day's specific training. So days that you're focusing on upper body, for example, it has you do things that will keep you warm and mobile for those exercises. I'm actually going to demonstrate 
the warm up that I have for a particular day. Now, sometimes I follow it to a T and I do everything it says. Sometimes I adjust for myself and that's something you can do, obviously. So I always start every warm up session with a squat, a deep ass to grass squat. And I just sit there and that's where I do my breathing in that position. I have time to allow my body to settle down into a squat, which is valuable for me. And it's pretty quick. It depends on you. If you're tight and really restricted, you might spend a little more time. If you happen to feel limber and loose on a given day, it might take less time to go through warm up. Now, once you're done with your warm ups, you get back to the programming and you go through a readiness check where you enter your weight, how much you slept, how you're feeling, what you ate, do you feel strong? You answer questions about specific muscle groups like your pecs, shoulders, traps, glutes, quads, and then you give yourself a mindset pre preparation, something to mentally motivate you through that session. Once you're done with that, it starts you off in your programming. You say start workout, and then it gives you all the information you need for what you're doing for that day. If you have questions about an exercise, there's an information button that you can click. And for most, I'd say maybe 95% of the exercises there, it gives you a video demonstration of just what that exercise is. Then it shows your history if you've been on this program for a while so that way you can reflect back at your previous numbers and know this number that is throwing out me is actually perfect for me today or for example you might say i still don't think that target number is high enough so i'm going to increase that weight or the opposite you can enter your numbers for those exercises that it doesn't suggest a weight and then it'll take you through it so each time you finish a set it's going to ask you basically to judge how you felt about it with your rpe it has a target for you even though it may not show what that target is sometimes it shows reps in reserve based on your input it's going to recommend your next set's weight now if you rate that weight and set appropriate to what the programming is expecting it'll keep you there if you rate it higher than uh, it should be it might decrease the weight if you rate it lower then it will increase the weight but it's all real time and it's great because some days you just feel better than others. Now the B-roll footage I'm showing here is the workout that I'm doing after that warm up session. So it shows exactly what I'm targeting. It shows that I did some tape presses to target the triceps because again, I indicated that a weakness for me on bench press is lockout. I'm targeting all of your weaknesses and all of the various compound movements. Now. The session is thoughtful in the exercises that it throws at you for targeting different body parts, but it also keeps things interesting for you with that variety. And it's also comprehensive in the number of sets, the number of reps. Sometimes you feel good and you might do a little bit more. Sometimes you feel not so great and you might pull back and reduce that. You could always enter something in the notes that say you skipped a set or you skipped the whole exercise. And this is not very expensive by today's standards. So there is a monthly subscription fee but you do have an option of paying for six months at a time or a year in advance. And each of those options allows you to save a little bit of money if you're paying in advance. I chose a six month payment program. So my monthly payments boil down to roughly $13 a month. If you pay a year in advance, you'll get even cheaper than $13 a month, which is phenomenal in my opinion. So again, a well-designed, well-thought-out program that takes into account all of your unique and individual aspects giving you science-based progression that is guaranteed to make you see gains and improve your strength along the way. And it's important for you to know that you do have to be transparent and honest with the way you're feeling, your actual progress from day to day, because it's based on your own inputs. You have to be honest. You have to be transparent. If you feel like crap, say it. If you feel great, say it. If you want to increase your weight from set to set, let it know that you felt the other ones were too easy. If you felt too hard, say that and it will reduce it for you as well. There are times when I've looked at the numbers that it produced for me. For example, a bench press just last week of 230 to 245 for 10 repetitions. And I thought, at close grip, that's not going to happen. So I put in the weight that I thought I could achieve, and I happened to hit my target perfectly with a 10 RPE at 10 repetitions. So you can adjust as you feel necessary. If you feel it's off, then your inputs will kind of recalibrate the programming so that it works specifically for you based on my own input 217 instead of 230, it then lowered the weight for my back offsets and I was able to continue the programming with no issue. So that's my take on Evolve AI. I'm gonna be sticking with this for the foreseeable future because it has served me very well and I'm completely content with the price of this programming at roughly $13 a month, I have no complaints. My Netflix subscription has surpassed that. So has my Apple TV and pretty much probably all of my subscriptions. So at this point in time, this might be my least expensive subscription. And what it does for me is far greater than any other subscription fee I have, maybe with the exception of the Peloton, which also does the same for me in improving my overall health. It's hard to put a price on that, but when you have an option between paying more or paying less for doing the same thing, I'm always gonna go with the pay less option. That's my take on Evolve AI. 
Again, phenomenal programming. I couldn't recommend it enough. If you're on the fence, give it a shot. They do have a trial period of two or three weeks, I think it is. I promise you that if you stick with it for five to six months, for example, you're going to see an improvement that's going to tell you this cost for this programming has been well worth it. The longer you stick with it, the better it adapts to you individually and the better your progression will continue from that point on. So each cycle that I've gone through and completed from meet to meet has given the application more information about me and it's adjusted based on those informational pieces and allowed me to progress based on all of that. So it's tapering and catering for me specifically. And as long as you keep doing that, the longer you stay on it, the more finely tuned the program will be for you. So that's all I have. If you have questions, again, drop them in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer whatever I can. And I appreciate your time watching this video and supporting me in the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one.